A lot of people took time to observe World Mental Health Day on Sunday. Experts say the pandemic adversely affected the mental health of many, many Americans. The Piedmont Tri-County Chapter, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, held a vigil Saturday for those living with mental health uh, conditions as well as those who have lost their lives to mental health illness. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Esquiva was at that vigil, shares one woman's message of hope. Despite the volume of people touched in some way by mental illness, it's often a very lonely experience. Betsy O'Brien, who's the executive director of NAMI Piedmont Tri-County, says her son was diagnosed with a mental health condition when he was just 10 years old. In any baby book we've ever had, there's nothing, there's not a chapter on how to deal with something that is an emotional or behavioral crisis. O'Brien was one of the organizers of this Rock Hill Vigil in honor of World Mental Health Day. She found resources to help her son more than 20 years ago, and she wants others to know help is out there. Go to people that have already been through it. They might be able to shortcut you to some care and support. According to NAMI, more than half of Americans have said that the pandemic has had a negative impact on their mental health. That's why psychologists say it's important to check on yourself and the people around you. Just asking them, do I feel like myself or have I felt off? When's the last time I felt like myself? If the answer to that is, gosh, it's been a good week or two, it may be good to talk to a professional. Amanda Matthews works with mental health through a nonprofit called Monarch. Both Matthews and O'Brien encourage people to reach out when they need help. You are not alone. You are not in this. To, you, we're in this together. And just reach out. Braving it together in Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.